episode four in which my dance icon Fiona from Folk Dance NZ comes to our yurt and teaches us all folk dancing from around the world. And here I show you from start to finish a dance called Nemoj Kate from Croatia. So I spent the afternoon moving around all the furniture in our big yurt and now a whole bunch of people from the community have come to do circle dancing with us. So Fiona's come from our big local town. Do you remember I mentioned her? She's so great. I love her. And she is just sharing with us circle dancers from all around the world. So we'll go in there and yeah. Good job. Bottoms up. Here's Amy. Sneaky one. <laughs> <laughs> a little work. Just for courage. Prosperity and courage. <laughs> Look at this, it's happening. It's happening. Okay. <laughs> Now we do the lift. Right for the lift. Now we do 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 the lift. the Oh, 
Fiona away to ask you a couple of questions. You're such a great dance teacher. Oh, thank you. Every time I dance with you, I feel like anybody can do this. Well, anybody can if you can walk, then you can dance. If you can walk, you can dance. Yes. It's so true. Just to find the right tune and what makes you, yeah, what gels with you. How did you get into it? Um, well, I started off as a child, I did Scottish country dancing. Yeah. Um, but then when I started travelling, I was um, quite taken by all the music, lots of different kinds of music. And, yeah. and I played music and I just loved being able, and then I discovered you could dance to all this music. And yeah. um, so I did a lot of travelling in Eastern Europe where, yeah. and in the Balkan countries and really just immersed myself in dance. Oh, it was cool. good. Yeah. How long ago was that? Ooh, uh, <laughs> ooh, 35, 40 years so ago. So you've been dancing a very long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I lived in Perth for eight years and danced with the Perth International Folk Dance Group. And then I started teaching and was performing and choreographing for them. Yeah. So um, got right into it. Yeah. And then came back to Hamilton and there was nothing, excuse me. <clears throat> and so I thought, oh, I'll start one myself. Yeah. <laughs> so here I am, That's 25 so years amazing. later. And um, and what do you think? Like, what what keeps you going with dancing? Like, why do you wake up in the morning and think, yeah, I'll travel to a year in the middle of nowhere and and dance with some random people? I love seeing people enjoy themselves. And you can start off for an evening. Think, oh, I'm so tired. You know, I got up at seven thirty this morning and um, to work at seven thirty, so I could come early here this afternoon. Um, but it was. <laughs> But when you see the, the energy and the joy and the just the enthusiasm and you can see people just have fun, yeah. then that's worth it. Yes. Yeah. And, and even if it was one person, it would be worth it. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a whole group of people at all. Yeah. But the energy that you get from a group of people dancing together is pretty amazing. Yeah. I, I just had a question, Fiona. If you could, Come in here. Um, if you could comment on, like, maybe or give us a story about, like, the transformational power of dance. Like, have you... Had someone come along to your classes once that it's actually just changed their life? Oh, good question, Amy. Uh, yes, I have. I've had, well, there's two different ways. I guess I've had people come to my dance class who've met each other, and, ah. and so that's changed their life. And in fact, I'm calling a dance Kaylee in March for um, a young couple who met at one of my regency balls. Ah. So, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> and, and I've had people who've come who've been very introverted, um, very shy, un unwilling to touch other people. You know, they don't want to be in other people's spaces, they don't want other people in their space. But with dance, because it's non-threatening and you can just move or ooze into it really, mm. and particularly circle dance, it's a very safe way yeah. of dancing. You don't have to be in a, an embrace or a hole or yeah. anything. Um, yeah, they've come out of themselves and, so cool. and and people will come up to me and say, look, I just really enjoyed tonight. And, and you might not see it, you know, but they'll tell you that. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's lovely. And with the circle dance, um, why I, I, part of the reason I think they're pretty powerful is because if you lose your way, it's not like a disaster. Like I've been doing, I've done Kaylee's a couple of times and a few people have lost their way and it's basically like dance over for them. Like they've kind of been edged out of a line and, and they just have to slink. Well, I say they, it was me. <laughs> I had to slink back to my seat, you know, like quite embarrassed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas like you're never lost in the circle. Mm. Like you're always being held and taken to the next bit. And, yeah, you know, it's, it's very safe. Yeah, it yeah. It is very safe. And, and while it is nice, with everything to be synchronized and if you get everyone moving together in harmony you get an energy that is over and above yes that and so if it but still if people are stumbling their way through it and still learning it I mean there's still an energy there it's just if you can get it to that next step it's so yeah. true yeah. 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 it's like a tangible it is. like fizz in the air yeah. of like wow this is very magical yeah and it's, it is you can hold it inside of you you can let it go you can build up on it um and yeah, and there's just so many people in New Zealand that love to dance. I mean, that's what Folk Dance New Zealand's about. It's a network of trying to connect other people, which is why I've met you. Yeah, it's great. Isn't it? Yeah. So it's so exciting. 
So um, I don't know, this might be strange, but um, I read, um, I've been quite concerned about like the future with the climate crisis and the ecological crisis and Kasui. Pardon? Kasui. On the streets of London? Yeah, yeah you did, yeah. But we were both there. Um, you know, and, and I read a book um, this year, it was a fiction, but it's just like picturing the world like post sort of climate catastrophe or apocalypse and it's actually a very beautiful book. It's kind of shows that there is a future like without this intense infrastructure. Um, but it's very interesting like because it made me think my goodness, what skills do I have to offer a community <laughs> that, um, you know, we're like a post-capitalist society? Like, and so I was like, right, and that afternoon after I finished the book, I, um, I got like a book on mushroom gathering <laughs> and went into the forest to try and find all the mushrooms that so I could feed my community, like mushrooms and very random. Um, but also, dance for me has been... And like even just tonight, like all of us together just dancing and having that joy, it's like that is a very tangible skill, like if, just say if, everything does go kind of like tits up. Mm. It's a very beautiful, amazing oh, offering. A balm for the soul. A balm for the soul in like what could potentially be dark times. Yeah. Mm. Is that too much? No, I mean, you think about the purpose of dance, right? I mean, I'm not an anthropologist, but dance has always been there as a spiritual extension. Yeah. yeah and so if you go back to right to the very beginning where there was dance as part of um, spirituality. Mm. And then if you look at things like in my experience, the creation of the state of Israel where they used dance to unify people from lots of different places because yeah. they created a dance that was unified. Yeah. It wasn't what they bought from their home countries. It yeah. was new, it was expressive of um, this new beginning. And then there are other cultures as well that use dance as a way to convey and to express emotion. And yeah. So it, it's so it's when we dance, we either create new dance or we are um, we are carrying the traditions and the emotions of other cultures within us. So we always have to be aware of that as well. Yeah, yeah, but then yeah. that that brings it. Um, you do have those traditions which that you touch those places. Yeah. I guess it's a sort of a roughly, so it's no, like no, it's tether. beautiful. Yeah, yeah it is like an, an anchor mm. through you know human kind yeah. or something that. Yeah, it's really well, I think every style of dance allows people to connect. Yeah. Yeah. A dance that you do completely on your own is connecting with yourself. A dance that you do with other people is connecting with other people. So it's all about connection. And if you have connection, then you have a base on which to build the next step. Yeah. Yay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for being willing to come onto my well, you know, fledgling, fledgling YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> about community dance. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. well, you know, there's a lot of people in New Zealand that can help you. Yeah. yeah. We're so. gonna we're gonna be tapping into them, yeah. hunting them down mm. yes. in love. Yes. <laughs> in love and I'm joy. I'm pleased to hear it. <laughs> cool. Yeah, thank okay. you, Fiona. <laughs>